I'm not a fan of mainstream media, and that has nothing to do with my overall opinion of this film. No, mainstream media in my opinion is a divisive tool that allows the people with power and influence to express an opinion that eventually decides the fate of a game or a movie. Which is why I always look to the internet reviewer for their opinions. It doesn't sway me in the end, but the average Joe's opinion is more valuable than a rich kid in the network towering snubbing his nose at a decent effort. This is more than a simple Fonz plays the Scrooge film, and I truly hate that analogy. It is in fact one of my favourite adaptions of The Christmas Carol to date, which is no surprise as as I've said before, The Christmas Carol is my favourite Christmas story. It's not the best movie version, no, but it's certainly not deserving of the failure it was classed as by the mainstream media, and all you have to do is go to the IMBD webpage to see exactly how much this film is loved by the audience. Set during the Depression, Henry Winkler plays Benedict Slade, a rather interesting take on the Scrooge character. As cold and despicable as the character on which he is based, yet at the same time very human with an undiluted belief in his practices to the point that in the opening you see that he actually appreciates the singing of the children outside his office, to the point that it gives him his pamphlet on how to succeed. It's clear that he doesn't care much for his clients, if not at all, but he still does have some value, however twisted, that he feels the younger generation can and should benefit from. But don't get me wrong, as he goes about his business he shows his complete lack of heart and culture all too well as he rips away everything from people suffering during the depression, from tearing their books apart, to taking their stoves and even the orphan's piano showing a complete lack of compassion for his fellow human beings that he shows no care that they will probably die the following ironically festive day. He even goes so far as to fire his aid when all is said and done. I'm not going to give away much of the plot. I mean what's the point? You pretty much know some of it already. Though there is more to Slade's history than you would expect. He is in every way a victim of the establishment as he is a willing participant of it. The lessons he learns are heavier and pretty much darker than most adaptations of the tale, as is his redemption, which I show great respect for in this regard. He's not giddy and joyful as you would expect from other adaptions, he is still gruff and socially awkward, knowing full well that his redemption is not an overnight thing but requires much work on his part if he is to earn the love and respect of those whose lives he originally tried to destroy. It's quite refreshing as I often find it difficult to accept Scrooge's instant change of character in the novel and other film adaptations. The joy of life is not just something you simply embrace instantly if you've never actually known it. Like I said, it's not the best adaption of the book, but it's hardly deserving of the panning the so-called critics gave it, and if you want an original take on the Charles Dickens novel, then that's an alternative to Scrooge. You can't go far wrong with an American Christmas Carol. Even if it is a little depressing, the message is still strong at its heart.